Good morning, gang. Time to grab your Bibles. It's my mind. James chapter 1, verses 22, 22 through 24. But we're going to just start with 22 to begin with. So we're going to start it and we're going to read it and then we're going to dissect it. You know how we do it. So James chapter 1, verse 22, it says, But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So what does that mean? Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Okay, I'm going to give you an example of that. So, you go to church and you hear the sermon. Or you go to church and you hear your Sunday school teacher or your junior church teacher. Or you're listening to my, my, or, or Papa. And you hear something from the word of God. And you're going, yeah, that's good. All right, yep, I believe that. Yep, mm-hmm, good. I accept that. But... You don't do anything about it. You just take it in and don't ever use it. James is saying, don't do that. He says, be doers of the word and not hearers only. So how do we do the word of God? It means that when you hear something or when you read the Bible yourself, you understand it and you go, oh, I need to change that in my life. I need to do something about that. I need to, if it's talking about a sin, I need to get that out of my life and and go the opposite direction, repent of it, and go to the opposite direction, turn around, run the other way. Um, if it says, you know, something that you actually have to do physically, like we're going to find out later on that taking care of widows and the fatherless is very important to God. Well, what can you do about it? So when a, when a pastor talks or when a, when a teacher talks and they tell you something about the Word of God, find out what you should do. We shouldn't just take in the Word of God and just take it in and take it in. Remember when we talked about the difference between being having knowledge and having wisdom? This is what it's talking about. Knowledge is that accumulation of facts well, we know a lot about God, but do we do anything? Does it change our life? The Bible should change our life, and we should be doers. So James is telling his church people, he's, he's saying, you know, you can talk about God all you want, but if there's not a difference in your life, I don't truly believe you're saved. He says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Now, what is, does that mean? You can lie to your own self. You know, you can say, oh, I am being so good. I'm being such a godly person. And yet, if you're not doing what God's told you to do, you're lying to yourself. So he says, be doers of the word and not hearers only. Because if you're just hearing it, you're deceiving yourself. You're lying to yourself. Let's go on, though. It says... Um, for now he's going to give an example another example so for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass so he's like a man that gets up in the morning and he looks at himself in the mirror mm, there I am my scrunched up bed hair my teeth that need brushing um, he looks at himself in the mirror. Let's keep going on. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth um, what manner of man he was. So he looks at the mirror and goes, yep, that's me. But doesn't do anything about his messed up hair or his teeth that need brushing. He just goes his own way and forgets what he's seen. That's what it's like. When we hear God's word, we see what's gone wrong in our heart and what needs to change, and we don't do anything about it. That's exactly what he's saying. So the example that, that James gives is a mirror look uh, is a man looking at himself in a mirror. Hmm, you might want to remember that. A man looking at himself in the mirror. He he sees himself, but he doesn't do anything about it. He doesn't change. He how does it says? It says, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. He forgets that he looks like a fool. <laughs> you 
because each one of us, when we get up, we have to take care of our hair. We need to brush our teeth. We, we need to be presentable to the world. And James says, don't be hearers only. Don't just see the facts, but do something about those facts. What does God want you to do today? Is there something in your life you need to change? Maybe it's a bad habit you've gotten into. It's so much easier if you change it now while you're young than if you wait and have to change it when you're my age. It's really hard then. I mean, it's not easy anytime to change, but God wants us to change and grow and become more like Him. I hope you're going to have a great day today. Bye-bye.